Hi, my name is Darius. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to tell you what I think MG5 is the best value for money uh, family electric car on the market. Coming up. So this is the car I bought three months ago. I was driving Nissan Leaf. I had two actually uh, for about five years and did over 100,000 miles and I was looking for perfect replacement. I absolutely love those charging points. In the last few months, I have been testing several electric cars to replace my old Nissan Leaf. This was 2015, 24 kilowatts an hour one, and I was really pleased with it. However, after five years, I have decided that I need a little bit more range. So my goal it was to get a car with at least 120 miles. Uh, so if you would like to have a look at the cars I have tested, I will put the link uh, of that playlist uh, in the description below. So I have short list to three cars I really, really liked. So it was MG5, Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt hour battery and Mazda MX-30. What I think buying mg5 is a good option if you're looking for first or maybe second electric car first one is the performance now don't get me wrong this isn't a performance car however it's in the acceleration is pretty impressive to be honest from 0 to a 60 it only takes 7.7 .7 seconds which is pretty impressive some of the uh, competitors uh, such as Mazda MX-30 is just about to do a slightly under 10 seconds so for the family car especially a estate car I think it's pretty impressive so going off the junctions roundabout it feels really really nice and sporty I remember when I was testing Corsa E uh, for me the suspension was just a little bit too hard and too sporty but here I've got the pleasure of driving and actually got the performance on the top of that and I've got a bigger car. Second one is practicality. You can get quite easily uh, two adults and three children in this car. On the longer journeys we've done uh, trips over 200 miles without any problems uh, whatsoever. Also, uh, boots 464 liters. It is definitely the biggest in its class. Uh, so again, when you compare this to Corsa E or Mazda or even Nissan Leaf, it is a lot bigger than competitors. We've got two dogs and it does the job. Get bikes in without any trouble whatsoever. Another one is the range. As I said before, I don't really need that 200 miles range. But now I notice that actually I love it. I just, we only charge the car once a week. Which is brilliant um, and then let me tell you some average figures that you can achieve uh, driving this car so I bought this uh, in September 2021 um, when it was pretty pretty warm in average driving normally not much eco you're looking at 3.7 miles to the kilowatt when I was checking and uh, driving eco in the town you can actually get about 4.7 miles to the kilowatt, which means you can get about 220 miles in the town, which is pretty impressive. When it comes to motorway, uh, you're looking about 3.2, 3.5 maybe. Uh, in winter, you can expect about three miles to the kilowatt with the heating on, uh, 2.8 on the motorway. That's what I was getting recently. 
I was doing a longer drive the other day. There was two degrees only. I did 152 miles uh, and I got home with 5% remaining. So you can see a difference um, at winter. But again, I don't, again, I wasn't driving economically. I was just driving and lucky would um, go with a normal car. When I had my niece and leave, I didn't have much choice. So in average, I was getting about five miles to the kilowatt hour. Uh, and I was able to get about 84 miles. I remember I did the video and I did 84 miles on 2015 with 11 bars battery uh, leave. So that was pretty impressive. But now I can enjoy my driving and I don't really need, care about um, range anymore. When you look at similar price cars, uh, the range is pretty impressive. The Zoe I tested had the longest range. However, it was a lot smaller car and I didn't like the uh, driving experience on it. You get quite a lot um, in the base model. So I bought the Excite one, but I wish uh, I got the uh, exclusive one because I didn't know that this car doesn't have keyless entry until you get the uh, the next one up. So it's really disappointing because I was pretty much sure there is gonna be a one because I have tested the exclusive one, but my bad. But when you buy the base model, you get a lot for your money. Uh, you got 16 inch alloy wheels, leather uh, steering wheel. Sat nav is pretty rubbish, but it's there. You've got aircon, uh, you've got reversing cameras, DAB radio, Android Auto. I remember when I was testing uh, i3, you have to pay extra for Android Auto. So I'm quite pleased with uh, what I got uh, in my base model. Another one, pretty important one is the warranty. MG will give you seven year warranty and I believe 70 or 80,000 miles. I cannot remember uh, on the top of my head now, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Mazda, for example, will only give you three years, same as Corsa and all the competitors. So it's just to give you peace of mind that if something goes wrong, you've got the warranty. And another one, the last one, is the price. Now, this car wasn't the cheapest from the one I tested. However, on monthly PCP um, payments, it was uh, a lot cheaper than uh, its competitors. Let me uh, give you an example. When I was looking at Mazda MX-30, uh, it was about 320 pounds with 1,000 pounds deposit, 6K miles per, per year uh, for four years now I managed to get this car for 255 pounds per month with the same uh, deposit uh, miles etc now I don't really understand because I was looking at some other cars because I was really struggling to find one very quickly because I sold my uh, old Nissan Leaf pretty quickly uh, and I was worried that we'll not be able to get the car uh, for September when the kids go back to school so I was panicking and I was uh, checking all the quotes um, I, I was even uh, inquiring for um, Citroen C4 uh, electric one and they were quoted me uh, 400 pounds believe it or not but uh, Nissan Leaf was actually uh, the cheapest from those three uh, which was just over 225 pounds as far as I can remember. However, MG has CCS charging points, uh, liquid cool battery, um, I, uh, the, the rapid gate on the uh, 40 kilowatt Nissan, that really put me off, uh, especially with the longer journeys. Now I've got bigger car, faster car, more warranty. So that was my choice. I think the, the look isn't always uh, most important, especially if you are on the budget. So now you can tell how much difference in price uh, it is. So I was using the car while to get that and none of the local dealers uh, was able to beat that. So I would really recommend to um, try the car while when you're gonna be buying the next car. Also, please remember to use Octopus Energy to save you some money. 
I will put uh, the link in the description below so you can get yourself a 50 pounds credit for your next bill. So that always helps. And there you go, probably one of the best, um, cheapest-ish. As we all know, the price has gone up now. But yeah, I think the MG is an amazing value for money electric car and I would really recommend everyone to uh, to have a go with it. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I'm hoping you uh, found this useful. And if you are looking to purchase uh, MG5, let me know why you think uh, it is a good option or maybe you've got one already. I would really like to find out if you are happy with your purchase. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.